I'm gonna go through this real fast and then shoot some combos real fast. So this is our greatest assault mode deck perfected. We run two starters assault modes. The third one's in the extra deck. Three side reflectors. Three assault sentinels. One assault beast, just in case you open up a hard um, side reflector. Two summoners monk that will get you into your sentinel place. Just a free monster on board, um, Pankratop, and for recovery and just more just body controlling the field. Uh, Artifact Lancia, we're on two. So it's the counteract Call from the Grave. So if you use Assault Mode, activate um, Assault, start as Assault Mode. And they try to call by the Grave, you uh, Artifact Lancia to protect it from getting removed. So you, you're still covered. And three Nibiru so that you don't get OTK by combo decks. If you take damage, that's fine. That's one thing. But if they try to OTK you, um, Nibiru will um, stop you from being OTK'd. That's it for the monsters. We got one emergency teleport, one one for one, both targets to um, bring um side reflector, formation tank, um, formation tanky to bring out so sentinel to go into the loop. This deck focuses on bringing out starters to solo mode, but can do other things. Three call by the grave in case they play ash, you need your place to go off, so that's to kind of rack ash. Monster Reborn, we can bring back anything. Isn't that sexy? Call by the Great. Um, sorry. Return of the Dragon's Lord. After you make your plays, after you've already established a Stardust Assault Mode, you can bring back whatever dragon. Bring back Stardust or any other dragon you use as a synchro. They are normally seven or eight. This will bring them back and um, let you have protection in Grave. One extra foolish just to go into another um, Borlo Savage combo. Just in case they have a full board and you didn't draw Nibiru, but you have Dark Ruler no more, we run two. So you can negate their whole field if they set up a board. And then you can go into your own plays and just destroy their whole comp board, basically. I'll show you how. And one Assault Zero. You can do a, a whole bunch of things with this. Traps, three assault modes. I run it at three. Normally, you're gonna use two. Keep one in hand to recycle, to keep using assault um, side reflector, and going for other plays. Three assault counters. Just as long as you have a starter's assault mode on the field, this, this is a free negate anything. So without him being tributed. So it's basically having extra assault mode starters on the field. And just in case they negate spells, Imperial Order. They ate all spells, and even though you have a lot of spells in this deck, you have Summoner's Monk to utilize. If they're dead in your hand, just use um, Summoner's Monk to go into place. Uh, the extra deck. Two of the Stardust, Assault, um, Stardust Dragons is the main card you want to bring out, but you can do other plays. But this is the main card to set up your negation boards. One Red Dragon Archfiend, just in case they want to play a whole bunch of defense monsters, knock them out. Hot Red Dragon Archfiend Abyss, I can show you a play how to bring them out if you want. One Borlo Savage Dragon, two card combo with full effect. One Clear Wing Sequel Dragon. One Black Rose Dragon, perfect combo, uh, three card combo for something else, I'll show you. To get rid of boards, um, Diagosto Emerald to just bring back Psycho Monsters. We won one Blacklist of Soldier um, Chaos. I'll show you how to bring them out. Very easy two card combo. 
Um, Boreal Savage Dragon is a three card combo, but just and helps you get rid of the token. If they have, if you gave them a token that's too high to get over defense and attack wise, uh, it's a three card combo to bring out Boreal Savage. I mean Boreal Dragon to get over it. Inferno Track for the um, Boreal Savage Dragon combo. Uh, Phoenix Staple. Nightmare Staple. Just in case you have two Summoners Monk, uh, we win Apprentice, and then it open up two spots if you want. And if it gets destroyed, you can bring back Summoners Monk or Cyro Reflector since it's a Dark Monster, and just go into other plays when this gets destroyed. And one Link Karibo. Side deck, we got two Ash. Effect Veiler. The third or someone, just in case I want to go three, I could just bump it up. Uh, two Imperial Iron Walls, steadily activate. You don't have to worry about nothing getting re removed from play. But I cited it because if you activate this and they ask you, then you're asked out because you cannot play your Call by the Grave to negate Ash because you cannot remove anything from play. So I'd rather just be in the play and I main deck um, Artificial Lancia. And three Starlight Rolls, just in case game two, they want to destroy all your back row, that's fine. Now, they think you don't play anything to protect your back row, Starlight Roll. When they play Twin Twister, um, just negate it, they go neg, and you bring out Stardust Dragon. And if you have Assault Mode activa uh, Activate set, it's a free Stardust Assault Mode 2 card. But you can't bring back the Synchro that was um, used um, for this card. It, since it wasn't specially summoned successfully. Uh, Fire from Ancient Tenki, the third one, just in case you want to change it up, the consistency or uh, in a different way. Uh, second, uh, Somo Zero. Another Foolish, just in case I want to go to that Borlo Savage Dragon combo more easy. Depending on what deck I'm playing, Regeki. We also run our Twin Twisters. Let's get into these combos as quick as possible. I don't want this to be a long video. Alright, so let's do the basic one. How to bring out Stardust Dragon in one turn and Assault Mode him. Either way, the whole deck focuses on bringing in Assault Sentinel, whether it's by Summoner's Monk, or um, you drawing him, or Tenki. This will be the main monster, and if you use his effect, he locks you out of Link plays or XC plays. So basically, the loop uses the effect, sends a grave, bring out side reflector, effect, bring a Somo activate, reveal, to bring back a monster that lists the Somo activate on it, raises a um, level to 7, synchro, easy, starters dragon, 8. Set their turn, activate. Start as a soul mode. Basic, right? Very easy. Let's get into the next card. Hot Red Dragon Abyss. Let's say you went into the play. This will be turn two to bring out Abyss. No matter what, it would always be a turn two if you want to bring him out. And then you would return to the Dragon's Lord first to bring back Starter's Dragon. Then, before anything, you're gonna. Then you would summon your second Assault Sentinel, 
basically going into the loop again bring out no 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 wait go back a little use his first effect to target starter's dragon reveal a dragon from your extra deck and reveal a card and starter's dragon becomes that attribute and type so he's already a dragon doesn't matter but that dark matters so you'll target red dragon archery and abyss so starter's dragon is now a dark type then you would go into his uh, combo the uh, the loop bring out search reveal bring back for next turn play but you're going into this turn you're going into this play obviously so now you have a level 8 dark dragon and your tuner so you can synchro for level 9 uh, hot red dragon archery and abyss so now you have a negate tribute and a negate once per turn and he's 332 and he stays on the field and then you have a so sentinel for next turn you can go into the same loop and do something else if you want let's do the links so our first one would be uh, Vorlo Savage Dragon it would be a three card combo you would need Summoner's Monk any spell this is just a perfect to work with it and emergency teleport three card combo where you will use summoner's monk effect chuck a spell also gives you protection in grave to search out assault sentinel but you do not use his effect you will use emergency teleport at this point to bring out Psy Reflector. Psy Reflector, you have to use this effect to search out a Soap Beast. Otherwise, the combo won't work. Then you use the Soap Beast effect to search out a Soap Mo Activate, Reveal, bring back a Soap Beast, make him a level 7. Now you have four monsters on the field, effect monsters. Then you would go into. Borlo Savage Dragon. I mean, sorry, Borlo Dragon. Simple. And you can use them to get over your tokens and stuff if you have Nibiru. Um, let's say you, you use Nibiru. They went first. You summon Nibiru. They have a, a 10,000 attack token you can't get over. 10,000 attack and defense. No, that's, that's killing it. Let's say you have 45 defense, um, 10,000 attack. And you summon the Biru. Now you can't get rid of that really. Unless you want um, to go into Cyberus. But we're going to utilize the combo we just said. And in which case the same thing. You'll summon this monk. Effect. Chuck. Bring out. Emergency teleport. Psy Reflector. Psy Reflector's effect. So, Mo so Beast. Um effect bring to hand reveal for other effects make seven I'm just putting him here for to show he's there now you have five monsters on board from a, a Nibiru just being in hand and a three card combo then you can just leave him there and just go into basically Borlo Dragon Now you have protection and grave, and if the token is the only thing they have in the field, you're OTKing them, punching them in the face because you'll attack. He gains half of their attack, and then they get reduced by half. So then they're at five thousand, and he's at eight thousand. Attack, destroy the token, use his other effects, switch the fence mode, punch them in the face for eight thousand. Let's get into the second monster we want to bring out. BLS, which is just a two card combo. You'll need either or, but it doesn't matter. You're not using their effects. So let's just say for the all purposes, since this is their deck, that's him and emergency teleport. Two card combo for BLS. 
summon, emergency teleport, bring out, have to use this effect to search out a soul beast, it ha it's a must, use a soul beast effect, bring to hand, reveal, bring back, raises a um, level to 7, now you have a level 7 effect monster, a level 4, and a level 1, and since you didn't use his effect, you can go into link play, so you go into that full Black Luster Soldier, um, Soldier of Chaos effects. Since Assault Beast was a level 7, you get his full effect of not being targeted or affected, and yeah, just locking him, but he can still be tribute and stuff. But two card combo to bring out then next turn if you this whole deck focuses on bringing him out you could just go into another play to bring out more um, your seek plays but that's a two card combo for this three card combo I show you how to get rid of the board load um, token if it's it's too powerful. Or you can just get rid of any other monsters if you can safely go back row. Another way if they have a full board on hand is one, two, three. If you didn't draw Nobiru and you just want to break the whole field. This is perfect for that. Play Dark Ruler no more. They can't activate their monster effects until the end of the um, turn or whatever the case is. Um, you just locking down their whole field. Then you would go into your loop. Psy Reflector. Effect. Assault, uh, assault Mode. Reveal. Bring back, but this time you're going to a um, race level by two, so he's a six, and you will go into a seven play for Black Rose Dragon. Use effect, blow up the whole field. Now you got rid of their whole board, and you have Black Rose Engrave. The third card will come in play. Play Return of the Dragon's Lord. Bring back, bring back Black Rose Dragon. Now you can punch them in the face for 24. You also have protection in grave. And your zones are open again. So you can go into other um, synchro plays or exceed plays. And you just got rid of their whole board. Um, I don't know if I did this one already. Let me just do it real, real quick again. It'll be after you already had, you established an assault mode. You basically will use Return of the Dragon's Lord to bring back Starter's Dragon from Grave. Then you will go into your secondary Assault Sentinel. Use the first effect. Target. Target a dragon. Um, so forth. And then go into the same loop. Bang, get, reveal, bring back for later, uh, go into Howard Dragon or Fiend Abyss. I think I did it already, but I'm not sure. But, yeah. So that's basically all the combos. If I missed any, I'll probably just do another video, but... Oh! The full Savage combo. I don't think I did that. Which you would need just two cards, basically. You'll pay, you'll activate extra foolish burial, um, pay half your light points to dump a furniture truck to grave, go into your synchro loop effect, bring. Search out, reveal, bring back, 
Level 7, Synchro for 8. Going into your Borlo Savage Dragon. Effect, now you have a link in the grave. And here's 3,000 plus the link. That's why I picked him at 4,000. He will be 5,000 and three counters on him since it's a link three. So you have a 5,000 beat stick and he can negate anything once per turn and you already have your assault mode. If you, I would say play it turn two so you already have an assault mode on, grave and ha on field to negate something and then he can negate something but stay on the field at five 5,000. Or you can just go into, if you want to just beat them down and go from there. But that's basically it. Uh, hope you enjoy. Give me a thumbs up if what you think. If you think it's good, give me a thumbs up. Latest.